Hi, welcome to Pictures, Noise and Words. I'm Hedgie. Air Paz, 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 Computer Air Freeze Paz, Program. Air Paz. Okay, Paz isn't actually here today. Um, he's back on Earth, stocking up on biscuits and tea. And uh, I thought I could get away with this, but clearly not. So, uh, Computer, End Hologram. Okay. I'll rearrange the screen. You've just got me today. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, that's that sorted out. And uh, look at all this room we've got. We've got like big, it's like old days. It's like the old days, a whole four weeks ago or whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> Lost to Ming. We, Paz and I did a song called Rebellious Angel, which featured uh, Bjorn Strid on the chorus as most songs these days seem to. He seems to be on a lot of things, but um, we did that a couple of weeks ago and go and look for it. It's a song called Rebellious Angel by uh, Lost Domain, obviously. And almost straight after hearing that, we both went out, went out, we didn't go anywhere. We went onto the internet <laughs> to uh, Bandcamp and bought the album. We both bought the album. Stuck it on my iPod and uh, never took it off. Again, and I mean, by not never took it off again, I mean it was on, it was literally on repeat for a week, and I just couldn't stop listening to it. So this album's called In the Waiting Room of Death, and you can hear a song in the background, by the way, you haven't got another window open that's playing music. Um, it's called In the Waiting Room of Death, now with a, with a title like that you would think that you're in for some serious death metal, wouldn't you? But um, you'd be wrong. This is, how do I put it? This is top-notch heavy metal, okay? I mean, there's no other word for it, but if you've ever wondered what a band would sound like if Adele did heavy metal songs, and I'm sure you have wondered that, because who hasn't? Okay, nobody. But if you have, I think this is the answer. There's a lady on this called Catalina, I think you pronounce it Leonte. I'm going for Leonte. Sorry, Catalina, if I've got that wrong. But Catalina has this voice. And she sounds like, to me, she sounds like Adele. I'm, sh I'm sure she'd quite like Adele's money as well. <laughs> but, um,. She has this fantastic, powerful voice that's absolutely full of emotion and feeling. Now, I'm not going to concentrate on Catalina because it's too easy to do. That's what always happens when there's a female fronted band. Everyone just concentrates on the, on the lead person. It's something that's one of my bugbears. Um, the musicians are all from Sweden. Um, so you could say it was a Swedish band, but Catalina herself is from Romania. Um, but it's got this fantastic production, it's got this power and the musicianship on this it is great without being super over the top technical or, you know, tricky or trying to be too clever. What it is is just absolutely solid songwriting. It's got fantastic melodies in the music. It's got fantastic musicianship. There are parts of this where you literally get out your air guitar and you, you're just like, fantastic. But it's got this voice. Which is amazing. And the vocal melodies and the vocal performance on this, I just love. I just love it. I can say this has been on repeat. It was on repeat for a week and then I played it just like, you know, a heck of a lot after that. And I bought this, you know, I'm not being sponsored to do this or anything. <laughs> Guys, you're gonna send me a t-shirt? Uh, but, you know, I'm not being sponsored to do this. It's just me sharing an album that, that I found that I love and Paz loves it too. He's just not here to say so. Um, He's on Earth getting biscuits and tea, which is very, very important. Um, so what can I say? I've kind of blurted out all of my main points in one go there. Um, this album came out back in May. 
and uh, I just got recommended to do a song off it and uh, you know I'm always happy to do that and as soon as I heard it I thought oh there's there's something here there's some quality here and I know that a few people who have watched this channel have bought the album you know please comment below and tell people what you think of it as well because it, I, I just want to support a band like this um, the music industry is a very difficult, very difficult business, you know. So I want to get the word out there. When you find something as as exceptional as this, I want I want to kind of share it with you. This is an album that I can see just whenever, in in years to come, I'll just have my iPod on random, and a song will come on off this album, and I will instantly go, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I love this sort of thing. And, and I've just discovered that they did an EP, which I haven't. I mean, literally while I was getting this video together, I realized they've done an EP, which I, I didn't realize. So I shall be off to get that um, very, very soon. It just, something about this, it, I just, I can feel this album. Um, which is kind of a weird thing to say, isn't it? But you know, so when something resonates with you. So, this is obviously, a, this is the last song of it, it's 10 minutes long, which I love, I love for the melodies, I love for the performance. I can't help but the Adele thing, I can't get over. Um, I'm not a big Adele fan, surprise, surprise. Uh, but that's not because of Adele, that's just because the, the, the genre of music that Adele does is not my genre of music, but, you've got, but I know that Adele has this incredible voice and I can just hear it in this. Um, and I'm not saying Catalina is is like an Adele copy, please don't think I'm saying that, I'm just saying that she has this fantastic tone and this fantastic voice um, that carries these great melodies and the music is immense, it's absolutely solid and the production on this for a, what I think is a debut album, I'm pretty sure this is a debut album, is, is just fantastic as well. You know, the whole, the songs are big and powerful and, and just carry you along. So, I'll play you a video now. Um, this is called Silent Cry. This is the first song off, off the album. Um, and, I, you know, have a listen. Go back and listen to Rebellious Angel that I did a couple of weeks ago. I'll just go and find it on, on YouTube, of course. Um, listen to it for yourself and if you like it please go on Bandcamp. It cost me six pounds this album, you know. It that's a trip to McDonald's. <laughs> so so you know I've given up one McDonald's meal, which is probably for the best. And got this fantastic piece of music. So there is no excuse, you know, that's a that's like a that's like a grand A coffee in, in Costa Coffee or something and you can buy all of this work that somebody has done. So anyway, I'll stop. I'll stop eulogizing and um, and I'll play you another track. I'll just have to stop that one. Um, and uh, I'll play you this. This is a lyric video for Silent Cry. Like I say, this is the first, um, first song of the album. And I, I love it. Absolutely love it. Have I said that enough? Start. 
just to pause it there. It's the little things. Apart from it being fantastically produced and it's got this, this solid um, musicality to it, and solid um, performances. That offbeat, ha, 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 that just happened and is about to happen again. It's just a little tiny thing, but it's one of those things that to my ears, I sort of go, ooh, you know, kind of, it, it adds layers, it adds texture to the songs. And I realize I'm gushing here, but that's because I just love this album. It's a tiny thing. There is a very small amount of the death metal vocals on this album, but it, 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 if you really don't like death metal vocals, don't worry about it. They're just, they're, they're very sparse. And it's just another layer of texture at the end of the day. <sighs> I just love the thing. It just... It just carries you along. And... And just... I don't know what to say. It just... Oh, and I've messed up something here, sorry. I just clicked something and I've messed something up at my end. Um, but never mind. I can no longer hear the music. Um, but I know you can. So I have no idea where it's up to, what's going on in the music in the background. It's professional. Um, yeah, it's it's heavy enough and it's metal enough for me to like it because you know if you watch this channel, you know there's a heck of a lot of death metal on here and there's some black metal on here. You know we've got technical thrash and, and you know and all of those things, but you cannot beat a good melody at the end of the day and this this album's full of them this is great songwriting without being super clever about it or you know it's so that you push it to the point where people have to put in a lot of effort to listen to it one thing about this album is it's very easy to listen to um, without being simple so you know you don't have to sit there with your headphones on or lying on the carpet with your headphones on and trying to out all of the detail. There's some great details in here, don't get me wrong, but one thing about this is very easy to, to just rock out to. Um, yeah, so. Obviously, I think you should all go and buy it. If you if you like that song, go and listen to Rebellious Angel. Um, and if you like those two songs, why wouldn't you buy it? You're just going to have to take my word for it. This, this album does not have a bad song on it. And for an album, I love it when this happens, for an album that just drops out of the blue, that I have no idea what's coming. And then you discover this, this thing and you go, ooh, good grief, this is really, really good. Then that's, that's kind of, from, from a musician's point of view and from a musical listener's point of view, that, that's like the holy grail for me. Um, and it's happened a couple of times now I've, since I started this channel, which is one of the reasons I keep doing it. Um, but uh, trust me, if you like this song, if you like the song the Rebellious Angel, you will like the album. It's got great performances throughout the whole band. Production is great. Songwriting is great. Why wouldn't you? Okay, so it's 10 out of 10. 
absolutely 10 out of 10. I have no reservations about that whatsoever. Hence I thought, I have to do this album review. I mean, that's, that's why I'm doing this. Nobody's paying me to do this. I don't know Lost Domain, you know. I have no idea who they are. Um, but just just a great bunch who deserve deserve more recognition. How's that? So um, I'll stop now. If you like that, go and check them out. Thanks for watching, as always. Um, I'll see you soon, and uh, Paz will be back soon. Um, he's probably empty in the biscuit aisle, you know. See you later. Bye-bye.